Well everybody, uh, back to normal demos now. I've done my week of Doug Fitch's standing doing uh, my day uh, videos. I'm glad he's back because I was running out of half interesting things to do. So uh, Back to the normal uh, chatting away here. Um, bonjour Sylvie. You're watching it in Canada. She wants to know why I don't talk on my videos. Well I do. Hello. Right, we're just doing a few um, little uh, sake bottles here off the hump uh, with faceted edges so I'll just show you. Don't matter how many facets you put on here, the secret is to leave the the wall fairly even all the way around. And we just press it out from the bottom. Taking it to just to where the clay's just about had enough. I don't know if you get that feeling. And then take it that little tiny fraction further and it gives you a bit more life, I think. The clay's saying, right, I've stretched as far as I want to go now before I start breaking, but if you can just get that other one that little more one percent out starts to twist and it gives it a bit more life to it I think. I use this sponge, it's got a, a um, an old paintbrush on the inside that I've used for varnish and it's solid and I use this to compress the, it's quite stiff that, I use that to compress the base sometimes when I remember. I'm just going to turn these uh, these little faceted cups.
Right, so there's one. 